Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com here to bring you another gear view and today we're talking about the 12 by 20 inch silhouette target and stand by AR500 Target Solutions. One of the best things for me about this targeting system is frankly how portable it is. When you receive it, it actually, believe it or not, it comes in a box like this, marked heavy, incredibly heavy. And inside it, you're going to have all the different components. You're obviously going to have your 12 by 20 inch silhouette, as well as the hardware for mounting it. And then you're going to have the hanger piece, which is going to go on top of your 2 by 4 the one unsupplied piece. And then you're actually going to have the base, which is broken down into five different components. Essentially, this piece of square stock and these four legs and then the hardware, which basically consists of a couple bolts and a couple wing nuts. Once you have all this stuff, only thing you need left is your 2x4, which you can cut to pretty much whatever length you'd like. And that's pretty much it. So I'll get this thing set up and we'll shoot it. As you saw, hanging this is incredibly easy. Essentially, we have this carriage bolt that goes through the center of the target. And behind it, you have a washer and then you have a nylock nut that's going to go on that. What we're trying to do when we adjust this is we're going to crank this down the first time we use it. We want to get basically a very small amount of space back here so it can move a tiny bit. But for the most part, we're going to keep this good, nice angle so that as we're shooting this, all that lead as well as the jacket, everything gets deflected down away from us as the shooter. Additionally, as you saw, I just threw this thing on. There's holes. So if you want, you can kind of semi permanently affix it to your two by four. You screw something along those lines. Same thing with the two by four into the base. Again, there's holes. If you want, you can screw your two by four to it. Personally, the big advantage of this system is portability. Whether I'm using it at a public range, out here in the woods, I can take this thing down, matter of seconds, put it back up, no issues whatsoever. So for me personally, I don't basically affix this to a two by four or anything along those lines. Per the manufacturer, the suggested standoff for shooting pistol calibers is 12 yards. Personally, I think that is probably a little bit conservative. I feel like most pistol targets usually list themselves anywhere from like seven to 10, but whatever, it's their party. So here we are at 12. Of course, huge advantage of shooting steel is you immediately know when you hit it. Having that essentially audible feedback, it's awesome. And where this doesn't necessarily shine as far as the dimensions of this target, being 12 by 20, is kind of accuracy, unless we really push this back and start shooting it from much further distances. But I find this to be kind of a real happy medium on the one, it is a silhouette. If you read any uh, Dave Grossman stuff, talking about kind of conditioning the mind as far as to shoot a silhouette, to shoot a person, stuff along those lines. So from a defensive standpoint, as far as conditioning myself, target identification, all that stuff, I find the silhouette to be helpful. And while this is a reduced silhouette, I find it to be kind of a happy medium with respect to shooting pistol at it as well as being able to push this out at a distance for rifle. As I mentioned, beyond pistol, we can obviously shoot rifle at this. Rifle, you're going to want to push the target back to about 100 yards. If you're going to shoot something really fast, think muzzle velocity excess of 3,000 feet per second, like 5.56, five, want to push it back to about 200 yards. I find this target does a great job at that distance, not only becoming challenging, whether you're shooting from some sort of unconventional position with your rifle, offhand, anything like that. But in addition to that, even at 200 yards and beyond, still really audible when you get those hits. Other thing I really like about this target is I have options. On either side here, we have these holes cut into the target. If I so choose, I can actually set this up as a gong. Maybe I have private property. I want to hang this semi-permanently, get some chain out there, set it up. Personally, I'm not going to do that because I don't have private property and I like to be able to take this thing down quickly and easily, set it back up, same way, but it is an option. 
What I do like about this target stand setup though is unlike with a gong, this isn't having to reset. It basically instantly resets for all intents and purposes. So if I want to get after it with a pistol and put a bunch of rounds on target really fast, I don't have to wait for something to stop swinging and reset before I can break another shot. Another nice thing about these targets is they come powder coated. They do a really good job on their powder coating, not only on the target, but also all of your hardware as far as your hanger and the whole stand base setup. Now, granted, as you shoot this, all the paint's gonna come off or to chip off where you shot like this, which is nice because you can actually see where your impacts are. As far as maintaining this guy, simple can of white spray paint. When you get done shooting it, bring it home, hit it with some spray paint, let it dry, you're ready for the next range trip. This target here is made out of 3 8 inch AR500 steel, really strong, durable. If you're gonna be shooting maybe heavier caliber rifles, they also offer it in half inch AR500 as well. It's gonna be a lot heavier. Nice thing about these targets also though, is as you're shooting them up, for whatever reason, your friend, not friend, ends up shooting this maybe closer than they should with a rifle caliber or some sort of steel penetrator ammo. You can actually flip it over just change the hardware out and you got a brand new fresh sight on this target. If there's something I would like to see different on these targets is this bottom piece, this piece of square stock, I would like to see it actually come up higher. As you can see here, there's some play as this two by four moves in here, not a big deal. And if I wanna set it up more permanent, I have holes so I can screw this thing in, but I would just like to see this come up higher so it would help alleviate this thing moving very much when I drop my two by four into this piece. I've been really pleased with this entire package by AR500 Target Solutions. Both the target as well as this whole stand setup, really easy, get to the range, set it up, tear it down when you're done. Same with the size, dimensions of the target. Works great for pistol or at a distance with rifle. Really pleased with it. If you want to pick one up, you can find them on Amazon. Best price I've found. Free two-day shipping, Prime, all that stuff. Run about 135 bucks for this setup. Or if you want kind of the heavier half inch, this being the 3 8 I think $10, $11 premium, about 145, 146. Pretty sweet target setup though. As always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.